Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi Welcome to the second class of the refraction of light and this tutorial is about the law of refraction and this is very interesting because if we understand the law of refractions and specially second law then it would be more easier to understand the rest of the content of this chapter so I am requesting each and everyone those are watching this tutorial to think this topic accurately with peaceful mind so that you understand the content and then rest of the things would be much more uh, beautiful for you because understanding these angles and refractive index is important so what is the first law the first law is about that the refracted ray the incident ray and the normal will lie in the same plane suppose in one plane so which is very simple to understand that incident ray is falling and then there is a surface i mean surface of separation and on the surface of separations there is a normal and this is the refracted ray so all are actually in the same plane like the board that i'm drawing this is the same plane so you can see that i have drawn it so these all these three lines are applying in the same plane so this is the first law. So first law states that the refracted ray will lie on the same plane as the rest incident ray and normal. And the most important is second, second law. Second law says that if the refractive index of any medium is N1, suppose, and then another medium is N2, and light ray is incident in creating theta 1 angle in the previous medium and created theta 2 angle in the second medium then the equations the beautiful equation is n1 sine theta 1 equal to n2 sine theta 2 how it is happening think about it suppose this is air hmm? and this is water so comparatively we know in case of water it is denser medium and this is air which is rarer medium now we can see that when light is incident inclined positions from rarer to denser medium then the refracted ray will come closer to the normal as because the velocity of light will be less in denser medium comparatively to the rarer medium and that is why the directions of motion of light changes and this is refraction so refraction means the changes of direction of motion due to the changes of velocity of light in different medium as because the density of the medium varies so now you see that n1 is the refractive index now see the beautiful thing that this theta 1 and this theta 2 think about this picture light is incident from water to air okay so the incident angle would be here that is theta 1 and that is actually theta 2 so if i say that the the incident the refractive index of the water is n1 and the refractive index water uh, the air is n2 then this equation is applicable how now you think this is this is the refractive index what is the refractive index of air the refractive index of air is actually v by c oh sorry c by v so i hope you see it in the previous videos that i put the first one c by v now and the refractive index is c by v so now the refractive index of air the refractive index of water so this is n a this is n w the c is always same that is the velocity of light in vacuum so the the value of c is always same okay now think this v is the velocity of light in air because this is the in this is the refractive index of air and this is the refractive index of water so it will be water now you think now you think n1 or i can say okay let's think about air 
as 1 and water is 2. So this is 2 and this is 1 and this is 2. Okay, think about it. So now if I say that n1 by n2 is equal to what? Is equal to actually c by v1, c by v2. Now if you think that I can do it like this, v2 by c, right? So now I can cancel the velocity of light in vacuum from both sides. So now what is thing like this like coming n1 by n2 is actually v2 by v1. That means if I divide the refractive index of air by the refractive index of water that is equivalent to the velocity of light in water divided by the velocity of light in air which is simply equal so if you see that the refractive index of air is 1.00029 and the refractive index of water is 1.33 you will have the same thing from here so if you divide the refractive index, the velocity of light in water divided by the velocity of light in air, you will have the same value because this is 1.00029 and this is 1.33. So this value is bigger than this. Similarly, the velocity of light in air will be bigger than the velocity of light in water. So if you divide this you will have this value. Now we need to think about the angle. Okay? So I am just explaining the concept. Okay. I hope if you if you just think it clearly with a peaceful mind, then you will have the same thing. Think about it. Like now I can say n1 by n2 is equal to sine theta 2 by sine theta 1. Now this is again same. Think about it. That light is incident from air to water. So now if I say that from air to water, air to water, this is happening. So that is we can say the refractive index of air divided by the refractive index of water. Okay. This is N1. That is the refractive index of air, refractive index of water. So that is actually sine theta 2 divided by sine theta 1. How come? So let's think about it. Suppose this theta 1 is actually, suppose 45 degree. This is 45 degree and this is 25 degree. So now we think that A eta W, A and W, that means the refractive index of air to water it is sine 45 degree divided by sine 25 degree if you divide then you will have you will have value greater than 1 because we know the value of sine 45 degree is greater than value of sine 25 degree why because a short explanation I shall explain it in the video of the refraction that if you see the value of sine 0 degree to value of sine 90 degree will have 0 to 1 and there is infinite number in between 0 to 1 so if you divide 45 by 25 you will have greater than 1 value so see sine 45 divided by sine 25 this is definitely greater than sine 40 sorry sine 45 divided by sine 25 so this is why oh wait a minute sine 45 divided by sine 25 yes 1.67 well, sorry, I was in typing mistake. So one point six seven is the the refractive index from air to water. 
So how we can use this principle? We know that n1 sin theta1 is equal to n2 sin theta2. So that is n1 by n2 is actually sin theta2 by sin theta1. So whenever we know the angle, we know the angle, we can understand, right? we can identify the refractive index of that medium. Even if we know the refractive index of that medium, we also can find the value of the angle. How? Think about it. If I say the refractive index of air, hmm? if you say the refractive index of air is uh, 1.30029, and the refractive index of water is 1.33. Now, I say that the angle of incident is 45 degree okay now what is the value of theta 2 if this is the questions then you see this one n1 by n2 sin theta 2 by sin theta 1 see this is n1 which is 1.30029 and this is n2 which is 1.33 now i need to find sin theta 2 theta 2 this one and question is given this is 45 degree so I just put the data now you think if I divide 1.30029 by 1.33 then 1.30029 by 1.33 1.30029 by 1.33 0 0.75 so I got 0 0.75 here so sine theta 2 by sine 45 so the value of sine 45 is 1 by root 2 I think so sine 45 is uh, 0 0.707 so 0 0.707 so now you think if I need to find sine theta 2 then 0 0.75 times 0 0.707 so it would be um, answer is that times 0 0.75 so which is equivalent to 0 0.53 so this is 0 0.53 now what is the value of sine theta 2 so you got sine theta 2 equal 0 0.53 so theta 2 is sine inverse opposite of 0 0.53 so the value and to do it we need to know that shift sign is the option so 0 0.53 then you got the angle which is 32 almost 32 degree so it would be 32 degree so we know how to do it so if this refractive index is there so if the angle of incident is 45 degree, then the refractive angle would be 32 degree. Here we got the value of theta 2 which is 32 degree. So this is the process that we can use the second law and this is the law of refraction. So I hope you understand that what's going on here. It's the same thing if, if it is given like that. See, this is N1 and this is N2. And if you divide, this is N1 and previously the N1 was air and N2 was water. But here, light is falling from water to air. So if you see the same thing like that, if you say that this theta 1 is uh, 15 degree, then what would be the value of theta 2? If this is the question, then similarly you can do it from this equation also. I'm just doing it from these equations that if you see from this figure the theta 1 and theta 2 now the question says that this theta 1 is 15 degree what would be the theta 2 so theta 1 is I mean the n1 is actually the refractive index of water so which is 1.33 and n2 is the refractive index of air so which is 1.30029 so if you divide sine theta 2 which is asked to find out so time theta 1 is 15 degree so you can do it so you can have it that 
so this theta 2 would be sine inverse sine inverse uh, sine theta 2 that it would be like 1.33 times sine 15 degree divided by 1.30029 if you do it you will have a value definitely greater than 15 degree so I'm not doing the calculation, it's a matter of some seconds, you can do it. The thing is that did you really understand the concept? Did you really understand how to think and why the, it, the N1 and N2, if it is given, and previously N1 and N2, what is the, what is the, what is the, uh, uh, the actual relationship between the velocity of light and the refractive index? So I hope you understand. And in next video, I am coming up with uh, the refractive index, absolute and relative, and then the critical angle and uh, the total internal reflections. So take care. Bye.